Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how to migrate Entity Framework Core in-memory database to SQL Server or SQL Server. In our previous session, we see how to implement in-memory database for doing our testing purpose. In today's session, we are going to see how to migrate the in-memory to ML SQL Server. I have created a session for in-memory database implementation. I will give on the link i button as well as the video description. You can check it out. I strongly recommend before going through this session, you should go through in-memory database implementation so you can understand properly for the same application. Today we are going to use entity framework core.sql server and entity framework core.tools new get page. In our previous sessions, we created this particular API, which is post product. I am posting a product here. So, okay. let's see the get execute. We are getting the record. So, we did this one using a huge in-memory database and a product DB. Today we are going to create one database in our SQL server or SQL server using EF core migration. So for this we are going to use these two new get package. One is SQL server dot tools. Let's install this our two application. Go to tools. You get package and console. Guys, to create a video, it takes lots of effort. If you like this video, give me a like. It really encourages me a lot. And please share this and give your comment and suggestion in the below. So, package management console opened. So, here I am going to Install the entity framework core SQ dot SQL server NuGet package. It got installed successfully. Let's went to let's go to the tools. Let's install the tools. It got installed successfully. Now we did our package management console task. So in our previous session, we created this particular DB context, this model controller, this is the data model for DB context and this is my controller. So now let's go to app setting.json file. Here we need to add our connection string. So you need to add connection string like this. I'm giving one name. I am giving my name as default connection and my data source properties. So, data source properties like my server name, login ID, and password. So, I am giving here my server name, database name. Let's say I am giving product DB, same name as our previous what you call and our in, in memory database, right. User ID, password, and trusted server certificate equal to true. Done. Our next, we need to go to our context. We need to modify this context. We need to create a constructor of this construct. Okay. Create one private read only. I configuration properties which will be configuration same thing I am going to declare here config now initialize or assign the value ok now in our previous session we did in huge memory dot in memory database 
and the database name is product db comment this line okay here i am going to add a new line which is use sql server okay in this case i am going to write my configuration dot get connection string in the string itself i am going to give my connection string name right so i have done my package management console to new get package added entity framework core dot sql server entity framework core dot tools right i have changed my offsetting dot json added my connection string as default connection the name value went to the db context file i commented the in memory database to use sql server here i am getting from the configurations get connection string default connection okay now let's go to the package management console clear the screen here here we need to add the migration so you can see so my database name is this one product db okay now go to console management here add migration we need to give so i'm giving youtube yt migrate one so this is my first migration i'm giving yt migrate one press enter you want to stop okay it's running you want to start viewing yes i want to stop okay migration completed once you migration completed you can come to solution explorer here you can find a migration folder added one is the my migration name which is create table my product name my product tables okay which is i've created my in db set okay and now and one more snapshot so this thing is done my migration has been added let's move and let's update the database so you can see in my database if i refresh here there is no product db now go to package manual console you can write update dash or hyphen database build succeed wait for a few seconds it will create okay done applying migration done right now go to sql server or sql server refresh the node so you can see product db upon this database tables so you can find here one migration history ef migration history and product our so let's see how much data is present here no data let's run the applications okay and see our data is coming to database or not previously in our previous sessions of implementation of in memory database we see it was nothing when we are closing the data so get product list try to execute no record right let's add some record now try to execute so i am giving same data desktop and category is hardware and price let's give 3000 execute okay it's got added mouse same hardware i am giving 1200 execute it also got added also got added let's go to get now try to execute so we are getting the record now come to sql server here again check the data yes so in successfully we convert complete in memory database to sql server implementations guys i hope you like this video if you do hit the subscribe button share this video with your friends
थैंक यू वेरी मच